my channel. So in today's video, I am doing an open pen pals letters with me. Um, as I know this is coming out in December, so I'm sure a lot of people are thinking just Christmas themed stuff, but I do have some um, pen pals from Halloween and it's still spooky season until it's Christmas season. So I am super, super chuffed with all of these. I am so grateful for everyone who sent me stuff and I really just wanted to share it with you guys so you can also see like the super creative things people have made and just I wanted to share it with you guys so I love doing these videos so I hope you guys enjoyed this video but that's what we're doing today so this is the first letter and I'm not going to show you um, I just wanted to show you an example where you don't have to go crazy with all the extras and things like that these are super cute. Look at these guys. I like these and they're 3D as well. I just really, really wanted to show you that you don't have to go crazy with every single letter. I haven't written a reply yet. I am a little bit swamped with replies. I'm catching up, but um, it's taking me time. But I just, I was really grateful this this letter and I haven't been able to message, like we haven't, just because of life, uh, emails, uh, emails, mail hasn't been as frequent. So it's just really nice to hear from her, honestly. I don't mind. I, in fact, I don't care if there's extra stuff. Obviously, it's lovely and super special when it is, but I just love hearing from her. So I just wanted to show you this one, just to say, you know, you don't have to go crazy with the extras, or if you're going through a tough time, you don't have to, or just physically don't have time, decorate everything. But I thought it was really cute. She decorated the envelope really prettily, like we've got a bit of gold foil up going in there. And I'm just really excited to reply. There's letters from Sophie, so thank you Sophie. I'm really excited to reply to you. Um, I will reply. I should hopefully, everyone should be replied to by the end of this, by the time this is uploaded. So fingers crossed, I catch up. <laughs> okay. So the second letter is also a more of a unique one and I'm sharing this with you because although she used to be my pen pal and her name is Destiny and I keep in contact with her and her sister even though we're not pen pals anymore for various reasons um, but we're still friends and we're still in contact we just don't share as much mail so when she sent me this I was pretty overwhelmed and grateful to just to hear from her I know she's doing well um so I just wanted to share this with you guys because it was such a sweet sweet little thing and I it meant a lot to me so this is kind of almost like a video diary in this sense where I'm also memorializing this for myself um but this letter meant a lot to me so I wanted to share it with you guys so that's the envelope the, it's got all the information on the other side okay so we've got the letter here, which I am not going to show you, but it's got a lovely, cute little sticker on it. She sent me some of these, which I really like these. I think they're really funky and cool. I've seen them before. Um, okay, so she always sends me such personal and touching things. Because, for example, it's the quotes. She sends me so many heartwarming and lovely quotes and I really needed to hear them at the moment. So when I actually got to um, read them uh, and it came about, it was it, it meant a lot to me. So this one says, never let the negative vibes of people consume you. This one says, you are as beautiful as how you were your vibe. She even sent me like, pumpkin chocolate chip bread recipe which is great and then it's this one that like really teared me up which is what I really wanted to share with you guys so as you open it value yourself and walk away from those who don't value you which is very on point for me at the moment choose to be happy not because everything is perfect but because you choose to focus on the perfect moments very resonate with that at the moment I'm gonna close that so I can show it to you. Self love heals all woeful feels. It's true. You are 
unique, you are special, you are different. Happiness is everything, the little things in life, and it's enjoying the little things in life. And when you're feeling down, and uh, it's a super cute picture, and all the cute little quotes, it just meant so much to me that I wanted to share it with you guys in case this resonates with any of you and you needed to hear this today because it's true and it applies to everybody. So that's why I really wanted to share this letter. Um, so yes, um, sorry. <laughs> that's why I wanted to share this letter and I just wanted to share this message with my viewers that, you know, even when life is difficult, you can still find beauty in things. You have, you're valued just who you are. And if people don't value as you are, then as you say, where's it gone? Value yourself and walk away from those who don't value you. And I think that's uh, quite true. And I, I'm honestly glad to actually kind of share that little message with everybody else. So, or, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm a little bit emotional about it because it's something, these are the like little good vibes and things I kind of really need to hear. And she's, I don't know how, she's always on point, like with the stuff I'm feeling at the time. But like she kind of resonates with me on that level. So I just really wanted to share this letter with you because it meant a lot to me and it was something I really needed to hear. So in case it was something you guys needed to hear, I just wanted to share. So we got this one and this is from my friend Henriette and she's incredible. It was so creative. She sent me a bunch of sweets and we ate them before the video. <laughs> It was like this weird licorice one, which was kind of chewy and salty and like salted licorice. And it was weird, but I liked it. Like, so she's from Sweden and Swedish people love their licorice, especially licorice and chocolate, which I love. And she actually sent me some, which was this one. Love licorice chocolate. So I kept the packaging to like keep so I remember. Um, but yes, <laughs> they didn't last long. Okay, so she also, so as you can see, it's a Wednesday themed letter, right? I'm just wondering if I can hide this. Okay, just for a minute. This, okay, I just put three pictures she sent me on top, but this is a really cool letter paper that she designed. It's got little Wednesday down there, and I thought it was fantastic. And then the back is the uh, stained glass window. So if you haven't seen it, that's what it's from. And it's really cool. I really, really like this theme. And she sent me a whole bunch of really cool goodies. So she sent me this one with the, I think the original Adams family and with a bunch of really cool uh, Halloween themed songs. And the things that I did definitely uh, listen to, this is Halloween. Uh, I did listen to Ghost and Vampire. Didn't listen to Devil by the Window. Love People is Strange. People are strange, I apologize. So I love that song. Um, so that was really cool. And then some little Halloween game suggestions. Played that one. Don't think I've played the rest. So that is on my to-do list to play. She sent me this cool picture as well. And on the back is some Halloween movies. So seeing as it's Halloween has been and gone, we'll go through it. Did Night Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, didn't have time for Sleepy Bride, Sleepy Hollow, The Addams Family, Coraline, Edward Scissorhands, Ghostbusters, The Shining, Six Fence. What we do? There's so many good ones, uh, but we went for classic ones this year. Um, like the fly and it's so gross. Um, <laughs> whoops, it's so gross. Uh, things like that instead this year. And then on top of that, oh yeah, this little trick or treat is where, well, that was on top of all the sweets, which I happily numbed on with my partner. And then she sent me these really cool pictures as well for my own crafting. 
which I know for a fact I will definitely use. So I'll put them in my Halloween box because I have a Christmas box and a Halloween one. So that is my Halloween mail from Henriette and I have finally replied to this one. Um, as, is, so as I said, it's taken me a little while to reply to people. Which I'm not too happy about, but it, I'm getting there. But I have replied to this one and I even sent English licorice. Uh, so hopefully that would all arrive by the time this comes out. Um, but I loved this one, Henriette. It gave me such good spooky vibes. It was like, it was like the ultimate Halloween mail. Um, it was really cool and I, I vibed with it. And I thought the whole black and white theme as well was really cool and there was just so many details in it that I was just really grateful, so thank you. Okay, the next two pieces of mail are from Lara and I'm always excited to receive mail from Lara. I haven't heard from her a little while and um, I'm aware of it, but you know, life is, it happens. Um, so I was really excited to receive this mail. So I have two. This one arrived like a couple of days ago, so I got to show you both. So first things first, it's with the it's the Lord of the Rings um, postcards, and it's got the stamps collection and everything. She's from New Zealand. They have like this whole Lord of the Rings collection, and it's so so cool. I was always super chuffed and excited whenever I received these, and like look how cool the stamp is do that you can see kind of like the back of it and it's like also that stamp and everything it's just really cool and I always look forward to it but that's the last this is the last um one they're doing and I wanted to really thank you Lara because I absolutely love receiving all of them and each time like my husband went oh that's so cool uh, because it is so thank you very much like this is just to show everyone like how much joy you can bring so I'm on just by sending a postcard I mean like it's really cool so thank you so much like I'm happy to be able to share that with everyone this is the other letter which nearly replied to I've made it I just need to write the letter so that hopefully will be arrived by then this is a theme for this one but that's fine so this is my other piece of Halloween mail and it is incredible I love and I mean I love the envelope the letter inside actually has paper that matches and it's really really cool I'm hoping I can hide oh she sent me a memo perfect so that is the very very cool envelope she sent me this memo which is perfect because I can then hide the letter and show you the super cool paper. I mean, look, look, it matches. I know I said it matches, but it's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. I get to show you, because I thought it was a really cool letter paper, and I'm like super chuffed with it. I think it looks fantastic. Um, she sent me this in a little package. I admittedly opened it. So how cool is this postcard? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. She also sent me a whole bunch of these little stickers, which I will happily save and use for next year on my nails or just honestly probably in my mail because I like doing that. But those are really cool. I'm like super chuffed with this mail because one, I was really excited to hear from her. And then two, um, it came just like alongside Halloween with Henriette, so it was like super spooky mail and it was really cool to see. So I'm really, really grateful, so thank you. And then we got this cute, look at this envelope. It's so precious. It's so precious and I haven't gone through it. So I had saved that to go through it with you guys because, you know, this is just nice and fun and exciting to do together. Well, I, I, I think it is. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so we've got some itty bitty little ghost stickers. 
Oh, those are cute. Oh, look at those. They're adorable. Yeah. Oh, I really like those. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. Look at these stickers. the moon one of the baby little ghost stickers these are beautiful thank you so much Laura I'm glad I saved it and I decided to open it when like on camera because I got to share it with everybody and I'm super chuffed that I did um because they're really cool I really like them they are so cool thank you so much I I think I'm a bit overwhelmed, um, but I haven't even gone through like all the mail yet. So thank you everybody so far. Lara, I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you like your reply. I hope everybody likes their reply. So thank you very, very much. Okay, so last but not least, I have showed this temporary, kind of temporarily in a video previously where I did a reply to this letter. But as I said in the video, there's quite quite a lot to it and I didn't show you like a fraction of it because I wanted to do it in this video and I was super chuffed with this because frogs and green and pink, like, it's so cute. So I have replied to this one and it's been sent, so hopefully I'll arrive soon. I can really appreciate all the effort, but look how creative that is. It's so creative, so much time has gone into it and I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's so cool. Okay, so we have the letter, it's a chunky boy and I wrote a chunky reply, so we're gonna pop that over there because we don't show that. Okay, so here is something really cool. It's a Q&A and it is in fact a like little booklet. And then it's got a little playlist on the back and I thought it was so creative and it's really, really, really pretty. I thought it was really lovely and I really loved what it looked like and I thought it was really sweet. She recently went to New York and gave me a little postcard from there, which is really cool. I love the art style. I also sent her one back because um, I recently went to London, so I sent her one from the National Gallery. I got a whole bunch of goodies here. It's it's amazing. Um, we'll do that one in a minute. We'll we'll go through this. These first. Try and get some order. So she sent me this beautiful little wax seal. Um, I actually collect them because they're really cute. Each one has a different stamp. Um, mine, I only have two. Uh, one is an I uh, for Ilona, um, my full first name. Um, my name is Ilona Louise, so Lolo. Um, that literally took Lolo out of each of my name, which is where my nickname comes from. And <coughs> so I, I go by Lolo. Um, by my friends and everything. So I have an eye, which was bought for me, and a rose, and both are very, very pretty, but it's, you get bored of seeing the same ones. So I always keep these and stash them. And then I'll either reuse them for my own stuff, or I, I'm the type of person who just looks at them because they look cool. Sounds strange, but it's like, I don't know. When you look at pretty things and it gives you good vibes, that, that that's kind of why I keep them. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of memos, all green, the green and pink themed, and it's just, it's a lot, but in a good way. So I really, really hope she likes her reply. Get a little cat cup. I love this dude. I love this dude. Wait a second. Is that Laura? Same artist! This one's from Lara. Ah! I love this dude. I love this dude. Oh my gosh, I got two now. Great. 
Sorry, a bit sidetracked, but love this guy. He's so funky. Oh, cute little froggy mummo nook. If you haven't tell already, I really like frogs. <laughs> There's like little karaoke, little memo notes there, little matcha drink there, strawberry. We've got two of these little ones which I find really hard to get a few of those. But I'll show you these cute little dessert bear ones. And then, whoop, careful. She is gorgeous, I love this. And then we've got some extra number notes here. See, I'm like well and truly spoiled. And they even came with like a bunch of these little hearts, which I think I've misplaced. <laughs> oh no, I found a bunch. Here they are, little hearts. Okay, so the next thing to show you is this little pouch here. And again, beautifully kind of decorated. And it's so cute. I really like it. And it is full. This this is why. Oh, I didn't show it all on camera um, when I was replying because there was a lot here, and I thought it needed to be, you know, time dedicated to it because otherwise I wouldn't have enough time to reply. <laughs> um, but I really hope you like your reply. Um, Oh, cute. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So I knew she had a green stamp, ink, um, but she's she sent me stamps before and I love being sent stamps. And it turns out she has a frog stamp. So this little dude here is actually from a stamp of hers. So I'm excited to use those. Cute little girl here, little witch. Some receipt things, which I really like these, by the way. I, they are very versatile. Oh, look, another little frog. Oh, got some gorgeous washi tape. These are beautiful. I particularly love these two. Little, uh, pusheen little, I guess it's a lion. I'm not sure it could be a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. I'm such a it's a dinosaur, here are the rest, the, they are in fact dinosaurs. Some more little stamp bits, which are so cute. In case you don't know, it says work hard, snack after, and that is me. We've got some cute little cutout bits, and this is actually a sticker sheet that you cut out and use. I probably use it on a strip to decorate something. Oh, these are beautiful. These are really cute. More little hearts and some memo notes. Little receipt to go with the other ones. Some more little green pusheen dinosaurs. Oh my god, look at those frogs! Look at the frogs. You can't see the frogs? Sure, frogs. Hey, man. Stop showing. I, I want to show these frogs. Yeah. Little froggies, and that's the girl again. Oh, cool! And so she sent me so many little stampy bits. These are all so so cute, and I absolutely love them. And I feel incredibly spoiled and very very lucky. So thank you so much for all of this, all of you. Thank you so much for my mail. Honestly, it's like your birthday every time you receive a little letter because I really made some uh, really close relationships with people uh, through pen palling so I'm really grateful for it and I found a lot of people all over the world who are very similar and like uh, thing, similar things as well and we get to share all the th things we love and I think it's really nice I think there's um, beauty to pen palling that doesn't necessarily just in the stuff you receive, but even just receiving letters from people, it's just, it means a lot to me, especially seeing as I know you have to have to take the time and the effort to have write these things out. And then everything else as well, I'm, I'm fully aware people put so much effort, it takes a lot of effort just for a letter, let alone anything else. So I just want to thank everybody, like 
I really thank everyone for all the mail and everything I receive and that it means a lot to me and I keep every single letter. I do not throw letters out. I do use the goodies. I do use them. So I don't keep all of those, but like, for example, I'd keep the little packets and stuff and keep the letters in with it because I, it means a lot to me and I've kept every single letter I've ever received and I will continue to do so. So thank you everybody for sending me such mail and being so, so lovely with it all. Um, I hope you all receive your replies soon, preferably before this video, but we'll see. <laughs> But yes, thank you everybody for joining me for this video. I really hope you've all had a wonderful week and I really look forward to seeing you all in the future and hope to see you in other videos. So thank you very much and I'll see you all guys later.